Editor-in-Chief Chief of 538, Nate Silver. Thanks for joining us, Nate. Thank you for having me. That's a high number. It's a very there. high number. Around the country, states are reopening as it's been long enough to forget why we were doing this in the first place. According to the New York Times, all 50 states have begun to reopen in at least some way more than two months after the coronavirus thrust the country into lockdown. You know, honestly, I can't wait to go back to my local barbershop, see Sal and the boys, and just have them shave my ass. You know, the hairs are starting to curl back on themselves. <laughs> like a Portuguese water dog. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Ellen. I myself can't wait to bleach my, you know what, ass. You know, the home version that I got off of Sephora just hasn't been the same. I'm telling you, you just put Clorox in the slip and slide. Nate, what death count is shocking enough to convince us it's worth letting our nether hairs grow long? <laughs> I mean, the, look, the problem is that there are big downsides either way, right? Mm -hmm. um, because if you do, I mean, people talk about the economy versus... Um, coronavirus, right? I'm, I think it's also a question of like being smart. Um, you know, you might hear about kind of safe sex after AIDS, right? It's a little bit like kind of what is safe socializing in this period where coronavirus is still a big risk. Only took you two minutes in to start talking about sex. We heard this would happen. Nate, Joe Biden's on the hunt for a vice president. Conventional wisdom is the pick will not affect election results. But what if the man at the top of the ticket is basically a skin suit on a hanger? I think because of coronavirus and because we have two um, very old candidates, let's be honest, I would think people will be thinking more about about heir appearance and kind of who could step in on 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 day one. So you're saying he should pick someone with experience in the areas that he's going to need the most. Maybe someone who could help him load cans of fruit cocktail into a shopping cart. If the age of coronavirus has demonstrated one thing, it's the inadequacy of humans. Which brings us to our new segment, Bring on the Robots. As coronavirus destroys the economy, one company is creating new jobs for poor, struggling robots in Milton Keynes, England. The New York Times reports a startup called Starship Technologies deployed a fleet of rolling delivery robots, the sudden usefulness of the robots to people staying in their homes is a tantalizing hint of what the machines could one day accomplish. You know, truthfully, the goal should be to replace all our staffs and warehouse workers with robots. They don't complain about the lack of fire exits. And if you get frustrated, you can just hit a robot in the back with a chair and nobody's the wiser. Nate, when do you plan to automate the staff at 538? <laughs> You know, in some ways, I think people underestimate how um, how much human intelligence matters. The nerd thinks human intelligence is important. What a shocker. I guess we have to talk about sex, since you wouldn't shut up about it earlier. So let's talk about sex with robots. I prefer it. Look, when your wife walks in on you with a robot, she doesn't go right to page six with it. And I, this is a weird thing I do. I still offer my robot money on the dresser. Just kind of a reflex thing, just to, oh. you know, help the robot get through college. You know, with my robot, I've found a really fun sort of naughty thing thing where we role play as an Amazon worker and a drone. Ooh. Ooh. Let, let me ask you, with your sex robots, does yours bang its head against the wall while you're crying about your home life? You know, I feel so lucky to have Tracy X7928 because she's the sex robot that brings you groceries. And I, I love oh, it. Did you say Tracy X7928? Yeah, I, I've had her for months now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I also am familiar with Tracy. Actually. Damn it, oh. Tracy. I think we all f the same robot. We all no, Tracy X seven nine two eight. We all had sex with her. Yeah, I haven't had um, the opportunity to mm. take advantage of that experience yet during mm -hmm. uh, quarantine. So you know, but it may last for another several weeks or several months. So there's always new things to look forward to. Nate, that's disgusting.